Hi everybody, it is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Back at the Crochet, where we talk about everything and anything that has to do with yarn or crochet. Hey, and sometimes knit. All right, so if you have not hit that subscribe button, um, hit it. You don't want to miss out. And if you look in the very first uh, link in my description box, there's a link to over 1,000 free crochet tutorials. All new or all <laughs> free for you to enjoy and i do continue to put new ones on a couple times a week sometimes more if i get a chance anyways so i did a review i don't know how long it was maybe about a week ago of some lion brand's new yarn it got quite um a bit of attention maybe you remember this clip here scratchy scratchy acrylic I think I've come across in a very, very long time. Crocheting with this made what crocheting with the Red Heart Super Saber feel like Red Heart Super Saber was a soft cloud. Yes. All right. So first off, I, I do want to say because, you know, as always with, with when I make videos, it just comes along with the territory of YouTube. Not everybody is going to like what I say. And that is very understandable. I don't expect everybody to like what I say. Um, but I, you know, um, and I don't expect everybody to have the same opinion as me. I've seen other people re review this yarn and give it good reviews. And that is cool. That is f fine by me. I always that you can look at every yarn review I've ever done and I have never not encouraged people to try the yarn. I always say do not take my word for it. If you have the means try it yourself because it could be the best yarn that you've ever tried. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you won't and I stand by that. I always encourage people to try yarns. Everybody likes different things. Yarns feel different to different people. Sometimes different colors of yarn feel different than other colors. So I just wanted to put that out there that I never once told anybody, do not buy that yarn. I said that I probably wouldn't buy it anymore. Um, but I did say, buy it a ball for yourself and try it out because it could be the best yarn that you've ever had. So, and again, it's only my opinion. It's just my opinion. I do yarn reviews because people ask me to. That's why I do them. So... Um, I did mention in that video, if you happen to see, see, if you happen to watch it, I said that I did have some more coming in in other colors, and I did, I said if it was the same, that I wouldn't even do a video. Well, a lot of people ask me if I would still do a video, regardless whether it was the same or different. Well, of course I will. You ask, I will deliver. So I did get the yarn uh, a couple days ago, um, and I opened it up. So you know, at the, they had two, two different varieties. Um, of this yarn, Lion Bread did. Um, and the, when you watch, if you watch that video, you will see me. I opened up the limited edition select. This is what I have here, and they also have a limited edition premium. This is what I was waiting on in the mail. This is the premium, and this is the select. Now, regularly they were four ninety nine. But they did have a promo going on where you got them for, like, if you bought six, they were $12. And they had their wording, their wording in their description, which they have now changed, insinuated that you would get different colors so you could make a tonal project. I think that was a mistake on Lion's Brand part. Um, and I think it was an honest mistake. I think the wording that they used wasn't meant to be intentionally mis misrepresent the yarn. I don't think Lion Bread did that on purpose. Um, I think it was just accidentally worded in a way, and I'm not the only one that thought that the majority of people that comment on my video thought that they were going to di get different colors of yarn. And But like I said, it's not like they changed the wording. And But I don't blame Lion Bread for that. I think that was just unintentional. I honestly think that was an honest mistake. Okay, so um, let's go over these new, th these yarns. It's the same ones. Well, this premium one's different. It's the same one. This is the same one I got last time, but it's a different color. And I have a couple different colors of them. So last time I got it, the, we'll start with the Select. I got the limited edition Select in the color Aqua. Now, um, 
And I said that it was a very, very scratchy acrylic yarn. And I said, maybe I got a bad batch. A lot of people say that they felt the same. And then I had people that said they thought it was okay. And then I had people that say that they thought it was great. And that is awesome. I don't care if you don't like it, if you think it's okay, or if you think it's great. Whatever works for you works for me. I'm happy either way. So um, I'm going to show you... Uh, the new colors that I got. So the aqua color I got was really, really scratchy acrylic. And I think that I would not use it for anything wearable myself. I mentioned that in the video. Um, but it probably would work well for bags and stuff like that. Now I did get uh, three more colors of the limited edition select here. And I'm going to show you sometimes color, the dyes make a difference. So I have it here in white. Um, now, I would not say that it's a f the best acrylic again, but it is softer than the aqua. Um, it feels a little just kind of cheaply made. But you know what? It is a cheaper yarn. You know, like I said, I think they have it for like $1.99 now. I don't know. I don't know. So, but I guess I can't say much about that because I go to Walmart and get, like I said, <laughs> Red Heart and Mainstay for whatever anyways this does feel softer than the aqua color would i make a scarf out of it as far as softness goes the white one yes i would it's not scratchy as scratchy actually it's not scratchy like the blue the aqua color was and then i got it and this is a really pretty color this is their their oranges you know you could pick you pick a color palette and then they send you a color in that this was her neutral. It was white. And this was her orange. It's very pretty. And it's very, this orange is, it's soft. This is the softest one um, that I have of the Select. It uh, is very shiny and it's very soft. This is definitely something I would wear a scarf out of. The Aqua that I got the first time, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Here's another one that I got from the limited edition Select. This is their, it's labeled green but it's purple and it is worse than the blue. It feels like sandpaper. So no, I would never wear anything made out of the green, but it's really purple um, because it's very, to me, to me, my fingers, my fingers, my personal fingers, feel it as a very scratchy acrylic yarn. Just to catch you up to date, this is, a, if you didn't watch that first video, I'll put a link to it below. But it is a 100% acrylic uh, medium four weight that Lion Brand put out. It's like a limited edition. Like it's, it's called limited edition. They had two different varieties of select and a premium. 186 yards. So yes, this by far, this is worse than the blue. But like I said, it could be the dice. So these are all the limited edition select. I got the aqua, which was scratchy. And this is says green, but it's purple. Very, very scratchy. Now, the neutral color here and the orange color are not. I would wear these against my skin. My fingers, my personal, my skin, my fingers feel them as a scarfable yarn. They feel this as sandpaper. So people feel things differently. And also dyes make a difference as well. Now let's check out the, the uh, other one that they had available for the same price, which is the limited edition premium. This is the first time that I've got this. I, ha I didn't get this last time. So let's look at it and see what this one's about. So the limited edition premium, you can see there is a difference. And they did mention that the select was shiny and the premium was not. I see that. I see that. You could probably see it. In the screen right off that this one's a lot shinier and that is the regular select it's not the premium the premium is a doll it has a matte um, matte look to it um, so it is 3.5 ounces 100 grams 186 yards 170 meters machine washable dryable 100% acrylic, acrylic medium weight number four so all the specs are the same same specs it's just one shiny one is not okay here's their four weight nice four weight now, this color I got here is from their blues. I love navy. Navy's my favorite color of blue. You know, it feels... Oh, 
okay. Would I make a scarf out of it? No, I would not. That's only my fingers. That's the way I feel it. But people might feel it differently than me. That's why I'm just trying to come across as, because, you know, a lot of people got got some, I, you know, I got some backlash. You know, that's just part of YouTube, though. But people have to understand, it's okay to think differently than me. I, I don't expect anybody to think the same as me. It's just my thoughts. And I, I always encourage people to try it. I, all, I never, never say, don't buy this yarn, it's horrible. I never say it. I might say that it's not that good. I don't think it's good. But you should try it yourself. I always say that. I always do. So this one right here, their limited edition premium in this dark blue, is a little stiff. Could be the dyes. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes when a yarn is heavily dyed, it will become stiffer. So that one, I wouldn't use for a scarf. Bag? Of course. Of course I'd use it for a bag or a basket. Now this is the limited edition premium in greens. I like the green color very pretty now this one is a bit softer than the blue would I wear a scarf out of this one it's an okay acrylic it feels okay like uh, you know I have with love okay yeah I'll make a scarf out of the green color um, yeah it's applied yarn. This one's not bad. And then I got it in the, this one's purple. Uh, yeah, purple. <laughs> it's off white. But anyways, again, this one feels, the green is softer than the purple here. <laughs> this, um, no, I wouldn't make a scarf out of this one. So the blue and that white that slash purple is a no-go. I have one more color that I got in the premium. And this one is the Aquas. It's the same one I did not like in their select version. Remember, this is only my fingers feeling it. Everybody feels things different. So everybody has to keep that in mind. It's okay. Um, the green at it. So I think with this yarn, <coughs> really, <coughs> depending on what color you get, <coughs> excuse me, Dep I'm over here choking. Um, depending on what color you get, I think maybe that might be a deciding factor on the softness, but also it depends on how your hand feels the yarn. Because uh, everybody feels like I said, I just feel things differently. Um, so out of these premiums, definitely the blue is the roughest. I would not wear anything made out of that. The uh, the the one that's supposed to be purple, it's off white, is probably the second roughest. This one, um, aqua is is okay. I don't think I would. Uh, I'd probably wear a hat out of it, or. Um, I wouldn't wear it against my skin. It's too scratchy for that. The green is, for me, out of all, those are the only four colors that I received. Um, but there are other different colors of green. But this particular green here is the softest of the premium that I felt. And I would make a scarf out of this one. Okay? But remember, there's there was like a bunch of different colors of greens. And there were a bunch of different colors of blues. So you may not have got the same ones as me. And you might have watched my first video and thought, well, mine are soft. That very well could be. But the one that I got was not. But it could have been soft to you if you got it. And as for the other variety, the uh, limited edition select, the, which I did my very first video on. And I got the aqua and I said it was very scratchy. I'm going to stand by that. To me, it was scratchy, and I would not make a anything a scarf out of it. This one that says green, but it's it's purple. This particular color right here is worse than the blue. I would not ever put this against my skin; it feels like a piece of sandpaper. But bags, sure. Make baskets, of course, rug. Mm -hmm. So it's still useful yarn, 
and for a price at two bucks it's a useful yarn you know you can find use for it even though it's scratchy now these two right here are quite nice for their select these particular there was a bunch of different oranges that you could get this particular color of orange that i got is very nice it's the softest one that i received out of all the colors and varieties that i got is this limited edition um, select in this color of orange it doesn't say what color of orange it is they had a bunch of different orange it just says orange this one is my favorite it's very soft it reminds me of caron simply soft it looks a little thinner but yeah it reminds me of that it has a nice shine it's soft like that i would definitely make a scarf out of this one and i got six of them so i might use this for something and the white is this is is nice it's not as it, it's it's soft it's i would make a scarf out of it so i think these two together would make something nice like actually the white it's actually neutral they're neutrals and they had a bunch of different neutrals so some of them could have been scratchy some of them could have been soft i might feel this as as you know an okay yarn someone might feel it as a great yarn and someone might feel it like like they think it feels like a piece of sandpaper it's all how and how you interpret it but i think these two are great together and i like these two i would wear something made out of these two colors right here um and i would wear something made from the premium edition out of this green one right here that i purchased now the other colors i would not wear anything out of them but they are like i said still useful can you hear that scratchy my hands are not dry either they're going to be dry and cut up after this no that's a joke that's a joke, that's a joke. but this would make a pretty bag and you know what that might be what i used to use it for so last time when i did my video just because i said that it was not a good acrylic it was very scratchy doesn't mean that it still can't be useful scratchy yarns that are acrylics like i said are very useful for bags baskets rugs um stuff you hang, hang on your wall just nothing that you're going to put against your skin i wouldn't use it for particularly um but that's just me um that's just my own personal preference now everybody has their own personal preference and that's why i love the yarn community so much because everybody has their own desires and likes when it comes to yarn you do not have to like the same yarns i do i realize that everybody is completely different everybody sees things differently you see color differently you see feel it differently and I completely understand that I do I just want everybody to know that when I give a yarn a review that I particularly don't like myself does not mean that you won't like it and I always mention that in every video I'm not trying to discourage people from not buying it I want you to buy it and try it I say buy it and try it um, so I never try to discourage people. I only give my honest opinion of it. And then I say, but it could be the best yarn you've ever felt. So give it a go. You can, you just, I always say that. I do. So that's it. This yarn was the first one I tried was a big miss. Now that I got a box of it of different colors, I realized that some of them are, are scarfable to me, which means I would wear it against my skin. And some of them are not, but it doesn't mean that they can't be useful for other things. Um, so for this yarn, you know, being two bucks, depending on what color you get, you know, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't pay the five dollars for it that they wanted but at two bucks you know it's okay even if you get a scratchy one like i said make a bag with it make a rug with it do something like that and even the colors that i'm showing you uh you could get a different blue and it might be soft because i think a lot of these are dye the dye is making them feel different as well so anyways i'm gonna go i just wanted to give you an update on that because a lot of people asked this yarn is okay depend for me for me for you it's different you try it yourself i don't want to discourage anybody from buying any yarn okay I'm, that's not what i'm trying to do at all 
If I was trying to do that, I would say, don't buy this yarn. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, buy a ball and try it. And um, now, if you've tried this, if you got it in the, in, in the mail already, let me know what color you got and how it felt to you in your fingers. Um, if, if you felt, if you got more than one color, did you feel like the darker colors were a bit more scratchier than the lighter colors because they were dyed more or was it vice versa? I mean, it's different for everybody. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm not saying anybody's wrong. Nobody's wrong for feeling the way they feel about yarn. I'm not wrong. You're not wrong. You feel the way you feel and that's just how you feel. So let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm going to read over them and I'm be interested to see what colors everybody got and how what their take on it is. Um, I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you don't like it. Like I said, some of these I like and some of them are okay. Um, and a couple I wasn't re really a fan of at all, but like, you know, it's still useful. So, I still probably wouldn't buy them again, but that's just me. But it isn't, it is two bucks, inexpensive yarn. To me, it just feels like you don't know what color you're going to get. So, you don't know if it's going to be scratchy or not. If I knew that I was going to get this exact orange every single time, I would buy more of it. But I don't know because I have a whole bunch of different color of oranges you could get. You know, it's a, that's, that's part of the mystery of this yarn. You don't know what color of orange you're going to get. So I don't know if the next orange I get will be scratchy or not. So that's it. I, I put, <laughs> that's it. Remember, let me know what, what colors you guys got and what you guys thought about it. Whether it, was, whether it was the select brand, the premium brand, the color you got. If you thought it was scratchy or if you thought it was soft uh, or just okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm interested in your thoughts. All right, guys, that's my update. It's an okay yard, depending on which one you get. Um, I really like that orange one though. It's really it's really pretty and it's really soft. You know, I would make my daughter a dress out of this one. That would say a lot. It's it's pretty. It's soft enough for uh, my baby girls. Uh, for me to make my baby girl a dress and I think that she would like that I could do that you know that because I like this uh white here too it's not bad I could trim it in white that would be pretty together for a, a dress wouldn't it even if I didn't make my daughter more just a baby dress in general I know some people have been asking me to make a baby dress I haven't forgot about you guys I'm, I'm gonna make one I like these two these two are my favorites they're they're nice all right I'm gonna go Bye, everybody. Take care, okay? Have a good day. See you on my next one.